Hey guys, good morning. Um, today I thought I would bring you guys around with me. I'm getting my second lipo section procedure done tomorrow. Um, so I'm really nervous and I just have some running around to do today, things to get prepared. And so I thought you guys could come and do a little day in the life with me as we get ready for my surgery uh, tomorrow. So just doing last minute things to make sure basically the kids have everything they need because I'll be kind of out of commish for a couple of days. Um, so I wanna get like, um, probably go to the grocery store. I need to go to the mall to pick up a few things. Um, I also need to go to the doctors. Um, so lots of lots of stuff in preparation for this second lipo. Um, and it's surprisingly really hot out here uh, today. It's been cold, it's been starting to get cold, but now it's summer, like I'm wearing a, a summer sundress. So it's weird, it's hot, which is, I was hoping that I booked this second liposuction because I'm getting my full legs done and my arms. So I have to pretty much wear like a scuba suit after. And I thought, well, you know, by the end of September-ish, middle of September, it's gonna be getting colder. And now we have this like freak hot, hot streak here. So that's just my luck. But anyways, let's rock and roll, get stuff done today. All right, so we're going. So I forgot I was gonna do a video on the new car we got. We got a Mazda CX-5. Um, but I haven't. I will have to one day do a video before this becomes an old car. But yeah, we did get a new car. And so let's get going. There's so much construction in my neighborhood right now. It's awful, but it is a beautiful day. It's so nice. So maybe I won't do a separate video. I'll just kind of show you guys right now. Um, but oh my God, it's hot. I need to put the AC on in here. So anyways, it's nice. It's not the car that we wanted. Like if you watched earlier videos, I was talking about getting um, a Mini Cooper Countryman or a Jeep and this is nothing of those, but we got a good deal on it. It's a 2016, it was barely used, um, but the seats are this like beautiful cream color, um, which I'm a little bit worried about. I've got one booster seat back there, but I have to get some protectors for underneath the car seats. I keep looking, but I haven't found any that I like yet because I'm just afraid that those seats are gonna get trashed. I have a couple of my pay it forward bags there to give out to homeless people and some sweaters because I think we're gonna see a movie later today. But yeah, this is the car. It has a sunroof and this is the, there's a whole bunch of different CX-5s that you can get. And this is like the most souped up one. It comes with all the the bells and whistles. So yeah, this is my new car for now. And I'm not sure if we're gonna keep it or we're going to trade it in, but. This I'm really pissed. I'm wearing my Fendi sunglasses. I love these, although they're a bit funky. Um, I just realized that somebody dropped my camera and the lens is kind of bent on the side and like coming out a little bit. So I have to see if I can get it fixed. I'm really pissed off about that. But anyways, we're off to the mall now um, to get some stuff done, so let's go. All right, so I don't have directions because I don't have internet. Um, we are downtown, Guadalajara. We're looking for this store. Google Maps brought us to this store. I'm looking to get this. Um, it's for after my surgery. It's a compression garment that I have to wear, but it's really hard to find the right one because it has to go all the way to the ankles. So the doctor's office had one made for me, but it was awful. And I ordered one online that's perfect, so I'm trying to get like a second one. So I just got this little card of this. So here we're just driving around, waiting for the internet to come back on, and hopefully I'm gonna find a phone number for this place, and hopefully they have one here in Guadalajara. I know that the, these ones that I ordered came from Mexico City, but then when I looked, it said they had them here in Guadalajara, and if they have them here, it'll make it so much easier to just, um, buy a couple because I definitely need them for the day of the surgery. I need an extra one for the day of the surgery. All right, so we had to stop at work for a second. I cannot find that store that sells the compression garments. Um, I've looked online, I've tried calling their customer service, they had me on hold for like half an hour. So I didn't bother. I'm just gonna leave it with the ones I have. So now we're gonna drive over to the mall and I'm gonna hopefully, I wanna get my hair washed and flat iron so I don't have to worry about it for the next two to three days after my surgery. Um, and we're looking for the car because the guy just moved it. Um, anyway, so we're gonna go to the mall. I'm gonna get my hair done. Richard has to go to the bank. Then I wanna go into H&M. It's really dark in here because we're in an underground parking lot. I wanna go into H&M and get a change of bedding. Um, and I need some face wash. So pretty exciting stuff. And then to the doctors, I don't know. But we'll keep on going. All right, so we're gonna go to the mall and just get out of here. 
and then see I'm starving too also because um, I have surgery tomorrow I have to stop eating at midnight and I'm supposed to eat kind of light tonight but I'm gonna have something good for lunch because I haven't eaten breakfast so I'm starving um, and it's like 1 o'clock I think is it 1 o'clock um, it's about 1 o'clock now 10 after 1 so yeah we're gonna go eat as well so there's lots to do and then we might we were thinking about seeing the movie Jason Bourne or whatever it's called um, but I don't know if we're gonna have time but we'll see and I can't record in H&M because I got in trouble last time so I won't be recording in there um, yeah I'm nervous I'm getting very nervous now about everything. The thing is, I'm most nervous about that stupid IV like I was last time. So I'm hoping that by going to the doctor's tonight, he has this light and it shines and it shows all your veins and he's going to mark it and hopefully that's going to make it so that they only have to stick me one time tomorrow because I have the worst veins. I'm so nervous about that. Anyways, we're going into another underground now to get in the mall so it's going to be dark again. So. I'll pick back up when we get into the mall, I think, because it's really dark in here. All right, so I just went into Sephora, and now we are at this place called Talento's for lunch at the mall here. Because this mall, I forgot the H&M here, it doesn't have a homeware section, so I can't get um, the bedding that I wanted, so that's not gonna happen today, but I did get a couple of things I needed at Sephora. I'll show you. I needed to get a facial cleanser, so I tried this one. This Boshia one, the detoxifying black cleanser. I've had this in a sample before. So I got that. And then so I also got the I also got the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D, which I haven't tried yet in the Lolita color, because I know that's a really popular color. It's really pretty, so. Anyways, I'm starving and I have to eat. This is like my last chance to eat a good meal and they just brought me the cocktail menu. So I'm just waiting for them to bring the, the regular menu so we can order. Right, we finally got the menu. So it's in Spanish, but I love these ho pee tout. I don't even know what they are, but they're basically vegetarian uh, spring rolls. They're really, really good. Um, and so I always order that and the kids rice, which is actually huge, you'll see. So they are sold by the piece. So I'm gonna get three or four of those vegetarian spring rolls. They have lots of stuff here, I like it, because they have like vegan food, vegetarian food, meat, they have something for everybody. So it's one of my favorite restaurants here. So these news come back, I'm gonna order those. All right, so there's a hair salon up here. We already ordered food. Oh, they blocked me in here. I can't get out this way now. There's a hair salon down here. I'm gonna go and see if I can make an appointment. I've just got my hair up in a bun for them to, um, do a wash and dry it and like flat iron it so it's good for the next three days um, if I can get that and then I think we're gonna well he have our lunch and I think we're gonna go watch the movie Jason Bourne just to kind of chill out because I'm really stressed and then I'm gonna do grocery shopping and then oh anyways yeah here's the hair no nope, this is Stuart Wiseman anyways there's a hair salon up here I will find it should we go this is the body shop this is such a nice mall but there is a hair salon. I think it's quite a ways up here though, actually. Hopefully they can fit me in and I can get this done after lunch. Nespresso. How do you guys feel about Nespresso? I've always wanted to go in here and see. I've always been, I've been thinking about getting a, a coffee maker from them, but I was never sure if they were good or not. Anyways, the hair's the hair place has got to be Alright, my hair appointment's made. I found the salon back there. It's supposed to be a really nice salon. I've never been to this one before, but it's at 3 o'clock, so that gives me an hour to have lunch and then go get my hair done. I'm really pissed off, though, because I just realized, well, I realized when I picked up my camera this morning that somebody dropped it. I think I knew who it was, but anyways, now my Zoom is not working, and this is the Nikon uh, Coolpix 30 times wide. It's like the Zoom was like the feature that I bought it for, and now it doesn't even work, so I am pissed. I'm gonna have to see if I can get it repaired because I just bought it like two months ago. My Zoom is working. It's fine. I was was it was on a different setting, but it's still the lens is all messed up and has a big dent in it, which pisses me off. But at least my Zoom is working. I was just I'm just freaking out over everything because I'm nervous and stressed about tomorrow. Anyways. So the Zoom works. There's Richard's appetizer. He got beef carpaccio. 
sandwich bread. Here are my spring rolls with the sauce. And there is the kids' fried rice. It's a pretty big portion. I don't know if you can really tell for kids. So that's pretty filling for me. It's delicious. I'm All right, so I had my hair done. Thank God. My roots, I really hate the color of my roots right now. But anyways. Um, so yeah, and then I went into Zara home to look and see if they had uh, duvet covers, but I really didn't like any of them. So now I'm going to the other mall that has the H&M home uh, to get duvets. From, not duvets, duvet covers. I'm going to get a duvet cover. Um, and then we're going to go to the doctor so he can mark up my hand and mark my veins. And it's getting closer and closer to the end of the day, which means I'm getting closer and closer to my surgery. All right, so we're at the other mall where the H&M is. This is the H&M I got in trouble for vlogging in before. So I'm not gonna be bringing you guys into H&M with me because I always got in shit. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try to do, here in this section, I'm gonna try to do the duvet cover and then I'm gonna go to Walmart. I just wanna make sure that the kids have like everything in the house that they're gonna want tomorrow um, because I'm gonna be at the hospital all day, obviously. Um, I'm supposed to go home tomorrow like my operations at 10 in the morning and I'm supposed to go home that same day so fingers crossed that will all go as planned um, so yeah I'm just trying to get every little little last errand done so that Friday and Saturday uh, well so Thursday Friday and Saturday really uh, nobody has to worry about anything so that's what we're doing so we'll go up and we'll go into H&M and I'll show you guys what I got we're in this yellow elevator it's pretty cool all right. All right, so we're at the doctor's now to see if he has uh, a chance to mark up my hands. But I'll show you guys really quickly. I did find, oh, I, I, um, I managed to get from H&M a duvet set. So I'll show you really quickly because I couldn't record in there. And then I still have to go to Costco. I've got tons of stuff in the back of my car, so it's a bit of a mess. Oh, and I have to show the doctor my compression garments because I hope that the ones that I have are going to be suitable for the surgery because the ones they made me were like awful. Picture like a mosquito net, but very thick and itchy and it was it's the worst compression garment I've ever seen in my life. So I hope these work. Anyways, I'll show you my, um, my duvet. All right, so from H&M, that's it just the pattern it's got matching pillowcases so it's hard to see in the bag but it's just uh, white and black I thought that was kind of funky cute my bed's light gray so and now I've got to take all my compression garments which are sitting there into him to see if these are gonna work for my surgery and I really hope that they are because these are like normal material ones so although they're gonna be a bit hot they're gonna be way better than the mosquito net thing that that lady made me uh, so, all right, let me get this in my purse and we'll head So it's always pretty busy here. Um, so I had to park quite a bit away up from his actual clinic. So we're just gonna walk down the road a little bit. I am so nervous, I have butterflies in my stomach. And I know that it's normal, a lot of people are nervous before they have surgery, but I'm nervous because of the fucking IV. Like, oh, it's raining, it's starting to rain. Oh, I don't know, I just feel like really worried. But anyways, I'm gonna go in here and see what the deal is. So this is his clinic here. I've showed it before on my channel. We'll go in and hopefully he's not too busy and I can get in and uh, and have my... Okay, so I'm gonna show these fajas to my very helpful nurse, Gris. <laughs> 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 to see if they work. Esos son los que tengo. Son ma mucho más mejor que los que, que me hicieron la señora. Sí. Y ojalá están bien. No sé si van a funcionar. That's the top. Yo his jacket. Yo creo que sí, sexy pants. este, sí, el doctor normalmente da una pastillita una hora antes, o en caso de que el paciente lo pida. Okay, my, uh, my thing came, the one that they made me, you have to see how ridiculous this thing is. <laughs> like, I cannot have to wear this, oh my god. Look at it. It's, there it is, the beast. That's why I don't want to wear it. See, it's that horrible. Okay, so I'm out of the doctor's office, but I'm driving, but you guys can see that he marked my hands. I have really bad veins. Like I don't have a lot and they're very tiny, but I'm marked up now, ready to go. And he says he's gonna get it done. He's gonna put the IV in in the operating room. And he gave me some Emily cream for the, to numb the, the top of my hands and hopefully that will help so 
So I'm just really, really nervous. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. So now we're gonna go to Walmart and Costco real quick. Those are the last two things I have to do. And then I'm gonna go home and uh, prepare the last of my little essentials in my hospital bag. And that's it, tomorrow morning we'll be getting the fat sucked out of my legs and arms. All right, so the day has kind of gotten away from me. It's pretty late, it's uh, after seven o'clock. So this is my last stop. I wanted to go to Costco and to Walmart, but I'm just gonna go to Costco and then go home. Um, so you guys can come into Costco with me and we'll pick up a few little things that I needed to get from here and then that's it, I'll be home and I'll maybe have something small to eat because I won't be able to eat. It says after midnight, but I'll try not to eat anything after around 10, but I'll probably have a drink right around midnight because I always get thirsty in the night and then that'll be it for the morning. So I'm getting really nervous. Anyways, we're about to go into Costco now. But I need their sheets. They have flannel sheets and I don't want those. So I need to find some that will go with um, the duvet cover that I just got in my bedroom in general. So, let's see. I like, I love these Kirkland sheets. I think they wash really, really well. Um, they're really nice. I have these in white already. They don't have any other color that's gonna match with what I'm looking for. I don't know what to do. Yeah, these are the ones I already have. I have the Kirkland in white, king size. All right, I need to find some sheets. I'd like some black ones, actually, but they don't have those, not even close. I think I'm gonna go with these. They're just gray and white. So although they're a completely different pattern, I think it might look okay together with the other one. The other option was to get this purple color, but no, I think we're good. I'm gonna so go. I actually found the Kirkland ones that I wanted in a dark charcoal gray. So that's even better. So I'm gonna get those ones. And we'll just get a few things. I don't need to get a ton of stuff, just a few things. This is super cute. It plugs in and does something. I don't know why. But it's really cute for Halloween. I love it. And they have Christmas stuff out already. Like everything. Christmas trees, snowmen, everything. I can't believe it. And it's not even October yet. It's crazy. All right, it's dark out, but I'll show you now what I ended up getting. I didn't end up getting that much stuff. I got a two bag of this uh, salad mix because I'll be eating salads are quick and easy to make after my surgery. The sheets you already saw. Then I try, I'm going to try this cherry almond crunch cereal, these multi-grain flakes with oat clusters, sun ripened cherries and sliced almonds. Looks good. I got this massive bag of french fries that will last us forever and some raspberries and that's all I ended up getting. All right guys, it's pretty late. Thank you guys so much for watching today. It was a bit of a hectic, weird day and my nerves have my head all over the place, but I'm gonna vlog tomorrow when is the actual day of the surgery. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye, wish me luck, I'm so nervous.